Even we were surprised when police announced they busted a pill press operation in a home for the elderly. A federal jury in California just convicted Vallejo resident Henry Benson on charges related to a four-year period of meth trafficking. Benson and his wife, Roselle Cipriano, supplied a dealer who sold thousands of fake Xanax and MDMA pills made of meth to an undercover agent from the DEA in 2018. When law enforcement shut them down in February of 2019, they seized a pill press, 31 pounds of meth tablets, and 17 pounds of meth powder. They found five more pill presses in a storage unit that Benson was renting. All this, regrettably, is pretty normal. What's not normal is that Benson and Cipriano were running this operation in the back of a six-bed elder care facility that she owned. They were licensed elder care providers making meth pills on one side of this blocked-off door, while carriers tended to their frail clients on the other. It's not the kind of place you expect to find a fake pill operation, but pill presses can be set up anywhere, and equipment and ingredients are so easy to access that counterfeiters can change the content or shape of their pills at a moment's notice. Though this story is about a case opened up years ago, we've seen 34 pill press busts in the news since January, and CVP's Operation Artemis intercepted another 142 pill presses and 325 pill molds over just four months this year. Part of what will help is the work by the Biden administration under the name Operation Chain Breaker. This is an operation that's been going after the assets of pill press manufacturers in China. The problem isn't just going to go away. Learn more on this page that we maintain about illegal pill presses at safemedicines.org.